Hey everybody, it is Margaret. It says I'm streaming already. Is that quick? Boy, usually there's like a little lag time, but anyway, it was like, boom, go. <laughs> hey everybody, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and welcome to another Money Monday. And in this Money Monday, we're going to be spying on eBay again, and we're going to be talking about clowns. Okay, all right. So before I get started, if you are new here, I would love to have you subscribe. My name is Margaret. I make videos all about making and saving money and thrifty and frugal living. And in this series, I've been doing a bit of spying on eBay, things that are selling, things that you can pick up that will flip for a profit. And let's see, okay, it is going. I was like, that was weird. It really went, it went live really quick. And I am live, so if you're ever interested in checking out the live feeds and talking to everybody in the chat, awesome friends, come and hang out and talk. Um, hit the little bell so you're notified when I go live. Uh, I usually also post in my group to International League of Thrifters or um, on my Facebook page, Texas Gal Treasure. So you can follow me there to get notifications as well. So hello everybody and yes, clowns. All right, let me pop the chat up so you can see that I've, <laughs> I've got friends here. Let me scoot you over. Hello, Cherie Johnson. Hello, Tracy H.B. Picker and Debbie. Hi, Diana. And abundantly yours and Myra. Thanks for coming, you guys. All right, I went back and forth. I've done some research. Um, on the clowns and I'm telling you I I, <laughs> I get chills and I get like nervous because um, I'm not really good with clowns but it's something that's trending right now and I wanted to talk a little bit about that and why that I think that you know clowns might be something to keep an eye out for when you are out there at the garage sales or thrift stores or things like that. Hello, hello in the chat, everybody. Okay, so I'm going to flip over and screen share here. Oh, let me get my, my all my stuff squared away because it's all wonky now. I had it fixed. I was really on it earlier, but guess what? Things happen. Okay, scoot over chat. Here we go. Okay, hello, hello, everybody coming in. All right, as you guys may or may not know, <laughs> there's a movie out. They remade the movie It, and I think it's going to be a two-parter, um, supposedly. But as you can see, maybe or not, this is the, the weekend box office um, screen share. And the last two weekends, it has been the top box office movie, yeah, for the last two weeks. And by a huge amount. I mean, so this is the Hitman's Bodyguard. I mean, more than double right? It's just like on fire, this movie. So, oh, you're welcome, Diana. <laughs> and then also, yes, true, Halloween is coming up next month as well. So a combination of the movie It being out and um, Halloween coming up, I thought this was the perfect opportunity for us to talk a little bit about clowns and getting that clown stuff up now, because I think it's going to start coming, flying off the shelf. So I did a Google Trend um, I checked that out because this is some, a tool that I use sometimes when I'm trying to find trending things that might be selling or trending topics to talk about. And this this is clowns, right? Okay, so this right here where it's popped up, this was last year, right? October, October 2nd and October 8th of 2016. So it was huge, this huge spike. Well, what happened last year was there was a lot of people going around like in clown outfits. I don't know if you remember this from last year. I do. We had some people in our town. Um, they would like dress up in clowns and just uh, as clowns and just go like stand on the street corner and stare people down or, you know, like really creepy stuff. So that was going on last year. I was trying to like figure out why. Well, look at this huge spike, right? But hang on, let me get my thing up here where I can see it. There's, you can see this little tiny spiking up over here. Um, what that is, is that showing, so this is interest over time. I'm looking on Google Shopping because we're looking at selling things, right? Um, so we see, okay, it's just chugging along, chugging along, chugging along. And then here we go. It's starting to go up, 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 right? So this is letting us know that on Google Shopping that there's more and more interest being shown about, um, yeah, clowns and buying things that have to do with clowns. So I thought, okay, let's talk about clowns today. So there's that. Um, so I did a bit of research. Uh, I was pulling up some screen shares of things that were sold on eBay. Uh, but before I keep going, I feel like I need to say talk to some friends in the chat because 
because you came to say hi and I feel like I'm missing people coming in. Hello, I see Henry's there. And Carol, hello, Dub Planet Music, hello, hello, uh, Julie's Thrifty Paper Garden, and Maggie. Myra says she's got two Halloween brooches, or bro not Halloween, but clown brooches. This is cool, cool, cool. Um, then, oh, good, good, Diana. Yeah, I, yeah, merch by Amazon, go. <laughs> hello, Monica and Diana. Yes, I, and, and I, I was like getting chills and like, like goosebumps all over me. And like, yeah, because I'm not really good with clowns. Um, Diana says, clowns don't bother me, but my boyfriend is scared when he sees a big fella petrified by clowns. Yep. Um, okay. Oh, my siblings went to that house they made in Hollywood. It was free, but they waited eight hours, exactly like the movie. I wouldn't be able to do it. I, I, yeah, I'm not super good with clowns. Mimes and clowns. I think it's the thing, like the no talking thing that kind of freaks me out. Where they're like trying to like, commu uh, eh. I know some clowns talk, but anyway, I don't know. Some people it doesn't bother, some people it does. But I do have a few clown things up. I have a few clown things that have sold that I was going to share with you guys. And then also other things that may be outside, like thinking outside of just like creepy clown masks that are out there that can, can go. Uh, Debbie has an amazing stained glass clown lamp that you got in a garage sale. But you won't bring it in the house. I was going to mention that too. I was like, I'm wondering. Because remember when I had like those Ouija boards and stuff? And it really freaked some people out. Some of like the occult type stuff like that. Um, and some people were like, get that out of your house. Put it in the garage. Just get it out of here. And I was like, I wonder if there are people like, like that with clown stuff too. I think it depends on what it, would, what it is. I have a few clown things here that they're in the house. But if it was scary enough, I don't think I would bring it in. Is that, is that, that is silly. And it, it, I know it. You can tell me it's silly. Anyway, let me know. If you're watching later, let me know in the, in the comment section. I'd love to find out how you feel. If it's the same as like Ouija boards, you just won't bring clown stuff in the house or, <laughs> or not. It doesn't bother you. Okay, so I just typed in clown into eBay and just to see what all came up. And these, were, these are sold. So... Um, Clown t-shirts have been selling like $12.95. So when you're out looking through the t-shirts at the Goodwill or your thrift store, check out and see if you see any clown t-shirts. Um, I didn't know. I don't know who this guy is. Roger Goodell. Is it sports maybe? But okay, fish, fish. Yes, yes. The patterns don't really, that didn't sell very well. But again, another clown. Pardon me. I saw lots of costumes and then masks and things. But then also, like, here's a cookie jar. And this is actually, I didn't sell this cookie jar, but I sold a clown cookie jar um, for pretty good money. And I'll show you that in a minute. So when you see, like, clown cookie jars or stuffed animals, oh, you just said a talking plush Teletubbies. Put them in the box. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, so, um, again, Pennywise cosplay costume sold. I mean, that's creepy, but okay. <laughs> And then here's a Baskin Robbins. See, cute or clown. I know, who was it that was saying there's no such thing as a cute clown? <laughs> who was it? Gosh, somebody said that to me recently. Um, but here is a, a, a Baskin Robbins clown. Can is it a candle maybe? Or it's clown cone. Okay, so any, any clown related item, definitely start taking a second look at and checking out if it's going to sell. See, this to me is like, he's kind of cute, but then like if he came to life, that would freak me out. Um... Clown shirts on merch seem to be selling some. That's a good idea. Thanks, Diana. <laughs> um, abundantly yours. Not silly. I wouldn't even buy it if it freaked me out. I didn't. I did recently purchase a very large doll that my kids freaked out. Oh yeah, I have. Oh, Nevada gets freaked out by this one doll I have. I haven't even listed it yet. I think it's just like sentimental now because I can pull it out and freak Nevada out with it <laughs> when she's in the chat. But yeah. But look at this, like little bisque clown necklace pendant, $54. So yeah, these are sold. Some, some little dolls and clown shoe earrings. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Diana. So yeah, I mean, look at this. Just a little clown pencil topper. I don't know what this even is. Oop, pardon me. Um, so yeah, there's... A, let me just pull up some of those other screenshots that I actually prepared. So... Ski Stephen King, it, now I had um, some Stephen King hardbacks that I had sent into Amazon. This was a, a, a year or two, a few years ago, anyway. But it th that sold, so you know, keep your eyes out because people are ready to buy different versions of the book. Some people want the one they had when they were when it came out or when they first read it. Um, they get sentimental about books, it's true. 
do cute clown cells. Hi, hi, <laughs> Susan. Um, I've seen cute clown stuff sell. There were some stuffed animals and little or like dolls that are cute. And then people that are doing like nurseries might want cute um, clowns. There are people that I know a lady who her her child's like nursery baby room was all clown themed. And I was just like, that is a horrible idea. But I didn't say it out loud, really. <laughs> but that's what I was thinking, like, poor thing. Um, no judgment. Maybe a little, but not a whole lot. <laughs> um, and then some people are doing, like, um, baby shower, clown-themed baby showers. And then there is a group called Clowns Without Borders that might be looking for not scary clown stuff. I'm just, the idea of Clowns Without Borders is kind of terrifying because they should be born. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, let me just leave my personal opinions out of this right now. <laughs> okay, so next, um, here's some cute, like these are salt and pepper shakers and there were clowns and little children. Um, so that was in a lot. So 34 bucks, there's some little clown. Let's see where it, come here you. If I can get it to zoom. Some little clown salt and pepper shakers. So they're mildly cute, mildly. <laughs> And then this, okay, not cute at all. So this is, you know, when you're going through the shirt section, take a look because some people like these big scary clown shirts, right? Build a wall and keep them out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run for president and that'll be my platform. I'm going to build a wall around the clowns. Get on board, everybody. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is a creepy towering clown animatronic um, that sold for $375. I... I can't even, I'm, I don't know, is this something you would put outside? I mean, check, okay, three animatronic clowns, local spirit Halloween shop, keep outside my door, it looks awesome, okay. Um, I was, okay, I was going to hire a clown for your ex that was afraid of clowns to do a singing telegram, but chickened out, oh my gosh. <laughs> if you weren't an ex then, you would have been after that probably. Um, so here's another one, like a mirror, like a glass figurine. Okay, totally a little creepy, but you know, cute, um, not purposefully scary. <laughs> That's so for US thirty three dollars and ninety seven cents. So there are there are collectible. Look at this. Who did this? This is a gold plated scary clown brooch. <laughs> it is a unique design. That's for sure. I mean, I would certainly pick it up and try to sell it, but I'm just thinking, who made this? Like, 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 here's, I have an idea. Like, this had to go through some, this, okay, when things like this come up, I, I just think about, like, there's a process when this was made that this was not, like, an individual one-off. Like, you just didn't make it in your room and then sold it. It's, like, th there was a process and, like, a team of, like, designers that were, like, I know, well, this is a good idea. You, like, had to, like, <laughs> pitch it to the team. Let's make this brooch. That's this scary, creepy clown with like sharp, super, super sharp teeth. And then they're like, yeah, let's do it. And then you got to like get the, <laughs> get the suppliers on, my, on board. And yeah. And then the lady that's making it. And anyway, you know, <laughs> it had to go through a process, right? But it sold on auction, two bids, $7.99. I would have definitely put that on and buy it now and uh, sold it for more because <laughs> somebody would have paid money a lot more for that, I think. Anyway, <laughs> but again, another, this is a Harley Davidson clown, flame, cl flaming clown. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it keeps jumping on me. Sorry, y'all. So yeah. And this one looks like a Harlequin type clown, you know, and that's another thing like the Joker from, from the, the new, um, oh gosh, Suicide Squad. I mean, I know that was last year, but still it's, I think it's a pretty popular one. Okay, so this is one that I have up right now for sale. I, I think it's on sale. Why is it such a weird price? Um, so this is like a, it, it, you plug it in and there's lights and sounds and stuff like this. Um, so I need to go through and look at my keywords and things like that and see if I have it, you know, keyworded up just right. I've got a video in there so people can see what it does, but it hasn't sold yet. So I'm hoping that it will sell really soon. Um, but some of the things that I have sold, okay, this is not a clown, but it's a leprechaun and he's creepy as creepy. So I was super glad to see him go. So this one sold and he, I sold him for 30 bucks. This is a leprechaun. He freaked me out. I don't know if it was like the eyes or the smile or something, you know? And so yeah, he sold 
Uh, oh no, hang on, what am I doing? Yeah, okay, and then this leprechaun also sold, so I was really happy to see him go as well. Yes, somebody bought him for $17.99 on Etsy. Yeah, he, mm, I don't know. Um, <laughs> hello, hello. And then this was, this is also a sold, this is a California pottery cookie jar of a clown that sold for $50. So definitely keep your eyes out for clown stuff right now. Is that every, that's not everything, is it? Um, yeah, anyway, so check out the solds on eBay for different items, including clowns, because I have a feeling, hang on, let me go back to that trending trending line, the sales, where is it, here it is. So you can see that the, the clown trending for Google Shopping is on the rise. So if you've got clown stuff, start getting it up on eBay because I have a feeling things are gonna start selling. And good point, Diana, with Merch by Amazon. <laughs> Maybe I should get some clown shirts up. So, yeah, okay, thank you so much, you guys. Let me pull this down real quick. Uh, how am I doing this? Okay, Scoochie, nope. And then this, yes, there we go. I'll get it one day. <laughs> <laughs> definitely leave us a comment leave us leave me a comment down in the uh, comment section down below letting me know if you have sold any clown stuff or your feelings and thoughts about clowns I I think it'd be good for a laugh and good for uh, educational uh, for us so definitely you guys check out the comment section when people leave comments there's often very good ideas and tips that can you can use to help your eBay and Etsy business so Go over there, hit the thumbs up, you guys, and let me know if clowns freak you out like they freak me out. <laughs> and I will see you on the next one, everybody. Bye. Thanks so much for coming. Yep, every time. Every time. There it is. Bye. <laughs>